Hello, good afternoon. Okay, so I noticed that I was running up on my uh, either um, for my oil change in my car, it's either six months, every six months, or 3,000 miles. I don't hardly ever use 3,000 3, miles on my car because I just use it in, in town mostly. So anyway, which is worse for a car, I know. Um, but okay, and I'm also going to start videoing here again because I got flack in a video about where I was showing some of my items and yeah where I was where I had my camera sitting at when I um, do my arts and crafts at the table I, I just have it leaning against my napkin holder and somebody didn't like that and I tried to be you know I, I try to be nice and you know accommodating for everyone but quite honestly this is my channel <laughs> and this is my way of just yeah, really, you know, doing things that I want to do. So I'm here in my kitchen today because it's at eye level and I don't have a tripod. So sorry about that. <laughs> um, anyway, okay. So I, anyway, back to the car stuff. Sorry, ADD. Got to keep myself on track. Um, so I call because I was supposed to have it done on April 11th <laughs> or before. And I forgot all about it because I th actually thought it, my little sticker, because they put a little sticker in your little window, you know, to remind you. One of the little window stickers or whatever, and they, you know, write on it when you're supposed to call in or, you know, at what mileage or what, you know, what date. And I thought it had said April, you know, past April 20th. But nope, I read it today. I was like, oh my gosh, it says April 11th, 17th. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I call and okay, I, I flip my shit. I get pissed. I, you know, I hate it when mechanics and stuff like, and people like that fucking try to take advantage of women. Are you freaking kidding me? I was already pissed that they were like, oh, your car is eight years old or nine years old now. You need to change your transmission fluid. It's like, are you kidding? You can go your whole fucking car life without getting it changed. But, you know, they bugged me for like a good year and a half before. I was like, oh my god, fine, I'll get it done. So I got it done last fucking year. No, uh, 2015, at the end of 2015, right? In December or something like that, or maybe it was November. Anyway, so I had it done. And this guy, he's like, let's see what we've got for you lined up for today. Because, you know, I, I take mine to... Um, Honda services here in town. Yeah, this that's where I got the car. That's just where I've always taken my car to get it, you know, get my baby fixed up. Well, not really fixed up, just, you know, get the oil changed and oil filter and all this stuff. And he's like, oh, we see, I see you're due for another transmission fluid change. And I'm like, the hell I am. I said, I just had that shit recently done. You're going to fucking sit here and tell me that? And he's like, yeah, it looks like we had it done in 2015. I'm like, do I look, oh God, in my head, I'm like screaming at the top of my lungs going, do I look like a fucking retarded woman? Oh God. This is why, this is why women hate going and doing mechanic, you know, auto shop things. Because you want to fucking take advantage of us. Just because we're women, you don't think we have dads who can tell us this shit? Oh. <laughs> anyway, I mean, I didn't say that to him, but I was for sure, sh if I was a cartoon character, you would have had blacked out and me and my stick, pig stick figure me inside my head screaming this out. I was pissed. I was like, uh, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're just gonna do the oil change. And I said, well, I think I need an alignment because they, uh, had said it in the fall that I needed an alignment and I forgot to come back in. And then that's when he's like, oh, well, she said something about something else. Let's see if we can tackle this shit on. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I'm hearing multiple things from different fucking people. So the last time I went in, they were like, you're going to need an alignment, which, you know, happens. You do need to, you know, at least here in Minnesota, you need to have them more often because um, in the wintertime, snow packs down, snow gets moved out of place in certain spots on roads. So roads become bumpy. That It just happens. That That's like a normal thing in, win you know, winter, it, you know. Nobody likes to drive on the bumpy shit and, you know, crusty crap like that where 
you're so uneven in your <laughs> but um it happens you know so you know alignments you know need to happen occasionally and yeah and my car how you know i shuttle my kids um well they don't really need it and much anymore but it's my car that's going to be the one that they're going to drive in my oldest doesn't give a shit about driving <laughs> which i quite honestly i don't think she really needs to worry about it anymore i mean if she wants to get a good job and, you know, pay for an Uber car every time she needs to go anywhere, good for her, you know? That's what those companies are for. But um, my younger daughter has expressed a very, 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 very... <laughs> she she wants to drive, so I've got to keep my car in tip-top shape, you know? i got to keep it nice, got to keep, you know, and I don't, I don't beat it to hell. Uh, but it just pisses me off when you got people who are that blatantly rude to women who are calling in, you know, and it's like, you don't know anything about me. How do you, you, how do you know that I'm going to be some gullible woman who thinks, oh yeah, you, by the way, you need blinker fluid. You kidding me? <laughs> oh, oh, just, why, why do you have to, um, make all of us feel, I mean, if, if I could do it at home, uh, if, if, uh, it wasn't such an annoying where the, where the oil filter is, and since I'm a bigger person, <laughs> if I could fit under my car <laughs> without having to, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm afraid of jacks. I'm afraid of going under the car with a jack. It just, no, <laughs> no, it, it, it just, to me, it's like, I won't even get out of fucking hammock. No, thanks. <laughs> There's just certain things I just don't do. And I'm not afraid of heights and I'm not claustrophobic or any of that kind of crap. It just, there are certain things that I just, you know, in my brain, I just rationalize. Nope. I'm noping the fuck out of there. And I, that's why I don't change my own oil. I mean, otherwise I already, I know how to do it. My dad taught me how to do it. And I used to do it on my um older cars when i was a much skinnier and less <laughs> less child i didn't have any children or family members that would uh miss me if i was gone although my teenagers will tell you that they do not miss me because you know i'm a no-nonsense mom <laughs> but uh this video has already been oh my gosh seven minute long video sorry so anyway i feel already a lot better i'm gonna go paint i've already got paint on my hands still but i am super pissed i don't understand why auto people have to do this to people i mean uh, i don't get it i I really don't get it i mean as all i mean i get it i'm i'm a dollar sign but you don't need to be rude about it i mean you got to assume people are going to uh do their research you know it's like those people you watch them pull the gas tank you're you know you got the gas gauge right and it's got those three little four little bars on it and you got people pumping gas and they'll pump it at full max does not does anybody not know that you i mean i thought everybody knew you pump gas slowly because it's like when you turn on that faucet you know faucet and you're gonna take a drink of water you turn that faucet on and the water blow up bubbles over the top right you think your cup's full so you turn the water off where's the line of your cup Where's the water line on your cup? Either at the half mark or just above. And that is the exact same thing with uh, gas. When you pour your, when you, when you do gas and you do it on that high setting, that's basically the same thing. My husband's like, that's not true. And I'm like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. So he'll, he pumps his gas on high speed and it's like, so we're basically paying for him to put air in the gas because, you know, in the, in this tank because he's too stupid to realize that, you know, it doesn't fully feel, I, I don't know. That's just what I've been told, but I guess I shouldn't call him stupid for it. I mean, that's just what I've been told is I just pump it as at the slowest possible. That way I get the most, you know, gas for my money or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go do some drawing because I'm, I would like to calm down. <laughs> Uh, anyway, okay, bye!